All right. Good night, everybody. Hi, how are you? Hi, guys. Good night. Hi, Hi. good night. We do have uh, only yeah. one girl here. <laughs> uh, Kathy, Fabio, good night. Rico Berto, good night. It's been a pleasure to have you here, guys. How was your day? So far, so good? Yeah, it was good. Hey. Kind of boring. <laughs> You're boring? Kind of boring. Kind of boring. Why? I wasn't doing nothing. You wasn't doing anything? No. Ooh. So, but did you work today? <laughs> I got up today. What? You didn't work today? No, I didn't. It, it was your day off? Yes. Oh, that's cool. You didn't do anything special. Come on. Just sleep. <laughs> oh, of course, that is really important. <laughs> to recharge our batteries, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and was it good? The nap that you took? Yes. Yeah. How many yeah. hours do you uh spend on flipping? Mm, maybe four after I wake in the morning. <laughs> what I, I, uh -huh. I go up, I go up at eight, and after I sleep another four hours. <laughs> so why only? Four? Well, okay, so if I understood correctly, you went back to bed today at four a.m. Right, and and you woke up today at eight a.m. Am I right? I I go up at eight today in the morning uh -huh. um, i had my breakfast and then, then i went to sleep again oh really so that's cool so after you had your breakfast and you went back to the bed right at what time did you get up or wake up uh at, at noon i believe ah so that's good that's good just to have lunch <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also you have your lunch, right, on time. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So it's really nice, right, that you have, like, your natural clock that gives you, like, the alarm system. So, hey, it's time for lunch. And it's time for, like, a cup of coffee in the afternoon, right? Then it's time for dinner. That's cool. Excellent. You know what? Sometimes um, there is a time that uh, our body asks us to, to relax. Or to spend time at home or sleep because it needs to recover from something. So it's good, Rigobert. Even though you didn't do anything special, but it's good that you fall asleep. So that means that today you have a lot of energy to be in English class. Is that right? Rigo? Mr. Rigoberto. <laughs> yeah. Do you have energy to be in today's class? Yeah. Uh, 50, 50. Uh, uh-huh. Hey, I want to see your face. I cannot see your face for a long time. I haven't I, seen it. I told you that was the I told you that last time my camera was damaged. But that was like oof, like two weeks ago. <laughs> I didn't repair it yet. You didn't repair it, why not? Uh, I don't have the enough you know, time and when I have the time I sleep. <laughs> Oh my God, that is the most common excuse. <laughs> and you know what? You can also use your cell phone. Mm. Yeah. Maybe mm. because we, he doesn't want us to meet him, right, Fabio? That could be. We want to see your face. <laughs> I, uh -huh. I prefer to use my computer. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know what, Fabio? Uh, you're not going to have excuses with me. <laughs> I will always find an answer for that. Or do us a favor. If you don't want to show yourself, because we want to, maybe we, th we think that you're a handsome man, you can uh, put like a picture of you. That would be nice. I don't know how to do it. If you explain me, if you explain me, go to Google search and search for that, like say, how to upload. Uh, photo on Zoom, <laughs> you will be able to do it. Like John, people are really smart, right? And use technology like this. Uh huh. So you can do it. You can try on. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you can do it. So you don't have excuse with me, huh? 
at least you can show us a picture. I'm going to ask um, Mr. Monterosa to because he has a web developer, so he can send it to you. Okay. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> so one of a time you're gonna we're gonna uh, see how you look like. Don't worry about that. No, but if you feel comfortable, don't worry. I'm just teasing you. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good. But you know what? I will ask you, yeah, talking about that and devices and which one you prefer to use. Um, this Thursday, guys, we're going to play a really interesting game. And it will help us basically to recap everything that we have seen so far, but in a fun way. So in this case, um, um, I'm going to create it because this is a game that is created by teachers. So we put it according to what exactly we need to reinforce or basically we need um, the students to double check how they are good or the areas they need to improve. Basically, it's a, it's a, it's a game, guys, that is like help us as a teacher, but at the same time, help you to identify the areas are you're good, that you're doing fine, but also at the same time, areas you didn't need some improvement, right? It is just for you to auto evaluate yourself. So in this case, when we were talking with Regal, I will need guys for you to have two devices. Why? Because, uh, hi Baron, good after, good night, sorry. Oh, what a handsome one. Ooh, all right. Hi uh, teacher, good hey, evening. Hey, I missed you I yesterday. Hmm. Yeah, so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Don't do it again, please. Okay. But you know no. what? You came in a really good time, Byron, because I was explaining right now. Oh, I need, uh, Maria, Anita, no, uh, Miranita, good night. That on Thursday, I will be really important for you to be on time because we're going to, of course, continue with our topics, but at the same time, we're going to play a game. But it will be a game that also is an interactive game. You will like it uh, because it will help us as a teacher to check how you are right now so far, how much of the information that we have touched you, uh, it's right now you retained. But also, um, it's a game that you can use for auto evaluation to check the areas of good and to check the areas of improvement. And I will need two devices. Why? Because that's what I'm letting you know on time. So you can search for that. Uh, because in one device, you're going to see me right now, like we are doing right now on Zoom, right? And for us to play the game, I'm, I need to share my screen with you, okay? So in the meantime, and then on the other device, let's set here, if you, this one, um, you are going to be uh, in signing into the game. But in this, in your device, in the second device, you, won't, you are not going to see the answers. You're going to see just colors, colors of the possible answers. So in order for you to answer correctly, because you will have time, you have to watch my screen because on my screen, you will be able to see the letters, okay? And what you like, make a quick review or quick view, then you go to your device and punch on that correct color. So you're going to see on my screen, the colors and the possible answers. And on your device, you're going to be see only that colors. You're not gonna see any letters. So that's why I need you to have two devices. Ones that you're going to log in on the second device and on the computer, you're going to watch me in my screen. Am I make myself clear or no? Are you talking about the game for the app Kahoot? I'm sorry, no. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Do you like it? Uh, that's the one that I use for all the things in the of my work at my yeah. job well so you already have an idea Byron, of what is about right yeah <laughs> uh -huh. but you haven't played it in english uh yeah um just i use it just some question in english but the most of them are in spanish but i think this is gonna be great actually because it's a it's a really entertaining game for it everyone is. It and is. also it worked because with my team, it worked. Yeah, it works yeah. really fine. So, uh, well, you know what? That if, if you know, this one has been created by the teachers. Or in this case, oh. in, in yourself, right? As a Zoop. So we, in the areas that we need 
to double check something, right? Like in a fun way. And uh, I'm a teacher who, I had to let you know something. I made this guy who difficult. Okay. <laughs> difficult, but at the same time, tricky. Why? Just to give you some tips in order for you to have a good grade, because it's going to be like a race, guys. A race between you, like if you're doing in Cars, remember Cars movie? Yes. So yeah. basically it would be like a race. So we're going to double check who answers first, who is in the last one on the list, who is the first, second or third uh, place on the podium, and um, who, who is the one who has uh, like how many answers continually correct. For example, I said, Mernita will have all the answers. She had it correctly. But let's say that Luis was the one who answered first. So we're going to double check that. And you will be battling between you for, because our challenge and our main goals is to uh, be the, the last three positions, right? The, the bronze, the medal, and the gold, right? So it's, it's really, really nice because it's challenge you. But you know what the problem is? That you have time. And it's like this. I think it's 10 seconds. No, 20 seconds is like that. So you, you have to read things like this quickly. And you need to be careful with the answers that I that I put. Because sometimes the teacher uh, misspell a word. It can happen, right? Sometimes I forgot a punctuation. Sometimes I miss a word. And sometimes uh, I do not use capital letters or whatever, right? So you need be, you need to be very, very careful with my answers. It might sound correctly, but it's not. <laughs> so I'm giving you right now tips for you to like double check, okay? Uh, <laughs> So I'm going to create it for this, for the topics that we have seen so far. Uh, we can also play two, I think. Yeah, we can recap some uh, topics that you are supposed to know already, right? Yeah, don't, Maria, don't cry. Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. He's just like, like that. Excuse me, I, excuse me, teacher. I I know I I don't understand you. Um, ah, okay. I think that that you said that we have to the two device, and in my phone I don't have that the the Zoom the the platform. The, excuse me, the the link to the Zoom, and then ah. I, I okay. I'm going to to create the. <laughs> The mail um, to go in. Oh, no, you don't need it because let me ask you something, Maria. To okay. join the class, do you use a cell phone, your tablet, or a computer? Computer. Okay, cool. So that's no problem. You can have the computer and in your device, I'm going to send the link and the PIN number because you must have a PIN number in order to enroll in the, in the game. Everything is going to be to the WhatsApp. Okay. So basically, it will be like if you are using your browser to search for information, like Google Chrome or H, whatever browser you have. So it will be like that. As soon as you have the Zoom in the computer, it's fine. Don't worry. Okay. Mm -hmm. May I ask you guys, am I make myself clear or no? Do you have any doubts, any questions besides Maria? Maria, did you understand right now? Or you have any questions? Okay. And about the, the game? Um... I only you didn't understand. You. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, I know. About, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's okay. That's about, okay. You talk about, about it. Um, uh -huh. uh, yes, about it. Um, you ask us ask, ask, ask questions, or uh, I only understand understood that uh, you told us about uh, colors and. We ah, are, okay. Okay, so I will explain to you right now. May I ask you, if you didn't understand because you you don't understand the words that I use uh, because I spoke really fast, or both? <laughs> that would be the good one. Yeah. <laughs> both. Don't worry, just 
feel free because I'm, I'm I don't I don't feel bad if you said I don't understand. Of course not. That's what I'm here for to clarify any doubts that you have. Okay. So don't worry about it, Marie. Would you like me to explain that in Spanish? Ah, oh, you're going to listen to Spanish now. <laughs> Please don't bully me. Don't make me bully, okay? <laughs> 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 oh, geez, this is I'm a Salvadorian, but this is, I speak at almost 24 7 English and sometimes French. At the beginning, I sound like <laughs> I sound weird, <laughs> to be honest with you. But in the meantime, while I'm practicing my Spanish, it comes a little bit irregular. But sometimes we have a Costa Rican, sometimes we have a Mexican, Colombian, or Guatemalan accent. So I apologize for that international accent, right? But I will try to do my best. All right. Um, okay. Oh my God, how am I start? <gasps> Goodness, it's really hard. Wait a minute, let's have to divide my okay, get it. I can have it here. Ooh, okay. Um, el jueves, see? ¿sí? Thursday, right? Por jueves, yeah. 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 El jueves, eh, jugaremos. Oh, you see, I told you. <laughs> jugaremos um, un, uh, una dinámica, porque si digo jugaremos un juego, suena medio redundant, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Jugaremos una dinámica. <laughs> Mirnita, please don't bother me. <laughs> una dinámica. Que se llama Kahoot, ¿sí? Byron ya lo ha hecho con, sus, uh, eh, con su equipo de trabajo. Ok. And um, prácticamente lo que hace Kahoot es un juego interactivo entre, los, entre el teacher y los estudiantes para que ver la, la, como lo que yo quiero ver cómo están en el conocimiento que hemos tenido hasta ahorita, mm. si hay un área en que tengo que reforzar y hay un área que no. Y también ustedes pueden ver por ustedes mismos, hey, estoy bien en esto, pero en esto tiene que echarle más ganas, right? Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a jugar? El link de la, del juego y un pin number se los voy a mandar por WhatsApp. Pero, ¿por qué quiero yo que tengan dos devices? o dos aparatitos. Uno, porque en, el, en mi pantalla, yo la voy a compartir, pero ustedes van a ver las preguntas, el tiempo que tienen para contestar y las posibles respuestas, ¿sí? Pero ustedes no van a tener, no pueden, no pueden pullar en la pantalla de su computadora porque no yeah. van a poder responder. Entonces, ¿dónde van a responder? En el, el otro device que tengan, okay. ¿sí? Entonces, en el otro device que tengan, ustedes se van a logar al juego, pero no van a ver letras. Las letras y las eh, respuestas las van a ver en mi pantalla. Y de, que hagan un quick review, like, whoop, cuando oh, dices, oh, entonces la respuesta correcta es el color rojo, o color azul, por ejemplo. Azul, right, yes. So, you click on your device, le das click aquí, y entonces ahí es como tú, te va a contar que tú has contestado o que tú has participado, ¿sí? Yeah. Tienes que hacerlo lo más rápido posible, tienes que ver si no hay comas, si, esto, si me falta un puntito, si le pongo mal una palabra, si me falta la palabra, si quito capital letters o que sea, porque mis respuestas pueden verse buenas, pero en realidad son muy truqueras. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Entonces, así va a consistir el juego. Ok. ¿Te gusta? Yes, I like it. Oh, cool. Hey, ¿y a mí ni siquiera me dar un aplauso? I yeah. did my best. Excuse Come me. On. Yeah. Suena raro, Excuse right? Excuse me, teacher. No, te preocupes. No, I am asked for you. I have a question. Oh, okay. dime. Okay. You are native in, in English or no? Bueno, eso es una... Uh, no, in okay. <laughs> That's an interesting question. And oh, I, would you like me to explain in Spanish or in English? It's up to you. I can practice my Spanish. No, 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 this is going to be English. English, English. English, because you, yeah. you are an advanced, you are an advanced level. Come on. Yes. All righty. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. 
Okay, so I just make some exceptions in the rare cases like your doubt, right? But most of the time, okay. English. All right. <laughs> well, I had to let you know, I am do not, Um, I was born here in El Salvador. I did not born in the United States. However, due to my, the environment that I grow up and basically the, the type of job that my dad used to have, I was really around for most of the time Native American speakers all the time, all the time. So basically I can say that I grew up listening and speaking both languages. Even though I um, was born here in El Salvador and I have been living here in El Salvador most of my entire life. So basically, um, well, I just listen in both because uh, in my house we speak Spanish, right? Like my mama, because my mom is Salvadorian. Oh, but um, then when I was around my dad and all the stuff, we just listen and speak in English. So I grew up with both. However, they decide to send this little baby <laughs> with all the brothers and sisters to an academy or to a school just to like focus more on the on my second language which is in case english so basically as i can say that i study formally formally this native um or this foreign language from eight years old until 14 years old that means around six years right i don't think like that i don't i'm not good in math so you you tell me <laughs> yeah and since then all my siblings speaks and uh, speak english and all my jobs have been related to english all the time so basically i don't know if i under if i answered the question but I grew, I grew up with Nate, with English, basically, with English and Spanish. Okay. With both. But uh, I speak English with, uh, of course, at work, right? <laughs> with you, right? <laughs> and I speak Spanish <laughs> with my husband. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I also speak English with my pets. Mm, yeah, you... they do. They, they are. Oh. Yeah. And also, they are trilingual. Trilinguals. Yes, because they of course I, I have a, French. Exactly, because I taught them some some commands, right? Some specific words. Yeah. And they understand. For example, the word vamos, vamos, right? When I said vamos, both of them like they pull it up the ears, like, oh, mm -hmm. hey, we're going to go for a ride, right? Or for a walk, right? <laughs> so I can say vamos in Spanish. I can say let's go in English, and I can say on va in French, on a Francis, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So they understand. Yeah. Ima imagine that. So, but you know what? Sometimes they're crazy because I can say, when we finish our walk, you can say, okay, let's go home. Let's go home. In English, they don't, they don't care. <laughs> In Spanish, they don't care. <laughs> but they always agree and obey if I said it in French. So they're crazy. Mm -hmm. They're crazy on yeah. But you know what? They are trilingual pets. So they do understand. Also, they understand the word jump in. So they get into the car. Jump out if they go out from the car. Also, they understand when I arrive to my mom's house, they say, I, I, I let them know, hey, you got to say hi to granny. Hi, granny. So they approach to my mom. And they stand in two, in two uh, feet like that. And they're moving the tail <laughs> like that. So they say <laughs> hi to my grand, to my mama. You see? Ooh. And also they say bye. Yeah. That's right. crazy. That's right, right? It's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy sometimes. So guys, yes. uh, am I um, answer your question, Maria? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. May I, I um, ask you the the question mm -hmm. because I I watched that you have the 
more fluency in English than in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. See, oh my God. <laughs> like the cat, right? No. Uh, it's good yeah. for us. <laughs> yeah, it's because I practice more. Yeah. But at the first time, it's it, it, I have a, like an American or accent, like something like that. But if I continue speaking in Spanish during the whole day, as I said, I could have a Mexican, Colombian, uh, Guatemalan, or what else? Yes, or other accent. Mine is a Salvador, Salvadorian. I don't have Salvadorian accent. I don't. Mm -mm. As one to do, I don't. No cantadito, right? Like cantadito? Like for Usulutan, right? Or San Miguel cantadito? No, I don't have, I cannot. I don't have that accent. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? But I promise I'm going to do something. I will do something. Um, I will try to practice my Spanish during during this whole week, and I promise, guys, that um, on oh, okay, let me check on Thursday of the last week that we're together. I will like say bye to you, but in Spanish, and I will uh, try to sound more with more neutral accent, okay? okay. I, I promise, I promise from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, Thanks. so I will do it, I will, I will keep on practice, I will, I will practice it, okay? And hopefully I sound better than today. <laughs> All righty, okay, cool. All right. All right, guys, any questions, any head out so far, no? We will have another teacher in the next semester, teacher. He wants to get rid of me, you know. No, I my don't know goodness, I don't know. that is a direct question. Come on, man. I, you know, <laughs> I don't I know. know. <laughs> I, I wanna I have a teacher who's not gonna ask me turn on your camera, please. All right, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you. Well, to be honest with you, Rico, I don't have any idea. I I, I wish you could depend on me, but it doesn't. It's part of the administration process. If, if you have the survey, you said, she's a bad teacher. She's not, you're going to move me from your group. <laughs> <laughs> and, but no, okay. don't worry. No, 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 just listen. So basically, I don't know. I don't know, but um, hopefully I will continue with you. Would you like to be, to continue with me? I will, yeah. I, yeah. I wish I could be Why with not? you. Why not? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> well, okay. Hopefully if I continue with you, maybe, Next model, he will have a camera already. That is one of my wishes. <laughs> Just teasing you guys. All righty. Well, thank you so much, guys, for being here today. As I was explaining to you yesterday, um, we will continue with the jobs, right? And we have seen a lot of uh, ways to talk about jobs, right? Remember that we have seen gerunds as a subject and objects. We have also seems like um, um, comparisons, right? With adjectives, yeah. with nouns, with verbs, and with past and with part of all. And hopefully you have done your homework, hopefully. So today, guys, we're going to develop two things. We're going to develop the listening skill, but at the same time, we're going to develop the speaking skill. So first of all, what we're gonna do is basically just to, um, Listen, I don't know if you're ready because this is the listening that we're going to do right now is it's a part of the platform. So I don't know if you, all of you have uh, have done the platform yet or not, but if not, it will help you because basically, guys, this is will be like a three um, interventions about three different peoples talking about the summer jobs. So what I want you to do, I'm going to be nice with you. And the only thing that I want right now is that you identify uh, or put the numbers because we have three three pictures so i want you to let me know which one is picture number one which one is picture number two and which one is picture number three that's all that i want right now okay but i'm gonna send it to you right now to the whatsapp so do me a favor try to let me know as soon as you are able to receive it if you have it you're ready yes okay there you go I send you the picture. Did you get it? Yep. All right, yep. cool. 
So we're yeah. going to listen to three people talk about their summer jobs. And I just want you guys to help me number the pictures from one to three. That's all that I want right now. Okay, very good. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me show right now my screen. And then we're going to come back together. All righty. Page 12, exercise 10, listening. Summer jobs. Part A. Listen to three people talk about their summer jobs. Number the pictures from one to three. One. So, where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in. Uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you. Okay, stop right now. May I ask you, which is the number one picture? Number two. Is number two. two. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. cool. All righty. Very good. We'll be like um, a school manager, right? What are the pictures, teacher? Uh, it's on the WhatsApp, Rigo. Ah, okay. 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 Let's, let's continue. Two. Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah. I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef, vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. Okay, so which is the second one? Number three. Number three. And of course, we don't want... Oh, yeah. Of course, we know that number uh, three is going to be the first one, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, that's obviously. However, yeah. I'm going to continue playing the audio for you because I'm going to ask you something else. Okay, so let me just a couple of minutes. Let's finish right now the third interview. Three. So, what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full time? Yeah, but I work from two in the afternoon until 11 at night. So I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. That sounds like a really good job for Mr. Rigobert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just using your Rigo. Amilcar and, and Mr. Molina. Yes, very good. Dahlia, Dali, yeah, good night. I haven't said good night to you. Thank you so much for joining today's class. All right. Yeah. So, guys, according to what you have heard, may I ask you, do you like their jobs? Do no. you like their jobs? Yes, I love it. You. I know. You love it. 50-50. 50-50. What about you, Maria? <laughs> About the shows. Uh -huh, about the shows that we have heard. Do you like them? Uh, no. Okay. No. no. Okay. Bairo, what about you? <laughs> Be honest. Come on. <laughs> no, right? Mm, because I've been promoter, I think it's a 90% yes. I really 90%. like it. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Luis? I think... Uh, yes, I love my job. No, but you, but I mean the the three jobs that we listen right now. Do you like them or not? Oh, oh, oh 
I thought that it was for <laughs> the one that we had. I said, ah, that's what I said. <laughs> After we heard that, I said, do you like them or <laughs> not? No. I know so, okay, it's exclusive, but come on. Don't upload this God. on YouTube, please. You don't like it? You don't like the jobs? No? No. Underneath them? No? Okay. So all of you said, nah. So no. tell me, could you please let me know why not? Yes. <laughs> why not? Why you don't like them? For example, the first one, no, I don't like it because it's only for the font. You take uh, a phone and all day and the, your shirt and no, 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 no way for me. No, man, no way. No, 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 no call center, right? Uh -huh. And the hell for, uh, for I me, working in a call for, center. For the, for the kid, no. <laughs> I, I, oh my. Yeah, no, you have a teacher, you have a very, um, I really don't, but I not for the kid. No, no, no. no, no, no. And I I love it. cookie cook, but oh, so you I work. Chef. Uh -huh. Yes, but I work in the restaurant. No way. Ah, okay. I, I, I had a restaurant a few last year. Um, okay. No, 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 no. I don't like it. No, no, no. Look at her facial expression. Yes, yeah. yes. All successful. Right. All right. <laughs> All right like, oof. Right? Okay. <laughs> what, <laughs> what about you, uh, Mironita? Why you don't like these jobs? I would like to be a assistant of the chef, but to learn to cook, but uh, only this. This job now, right? Ugh. No. The others, no. <laughs> okay, so if I understood correctly, I'm not going to ask Mr. Molina, Anita, Rigoberto, and Amilcar, and Kathy, and Elsie, because everybody will say, no, ew, I don't like it. Okay, all right. So now I'm going to, uh, regarding the works that you don't like, remember that I ask you as a homework to choose yeah. or to pick from all the kind of jobs that we have seen and the pictures that we saw yesterday and blah 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 blah, blah to pick one and you have to let us know why you don't like it but we're going to do it like instead of listening to everybody like yeah right it's gonna be boring no you know that the teacher is crazy sometimes you don't know what is coming to her on her mind or from her mind right i'm like a pandora my mind is like a pandora box right you don't know what's going to come right or like felix the cat back right all right so we're going to do something um i don't know if i'm have to explain it to you in spanish or in english in order for maria to understand no, me no. <laughs> okay i will try to explain it as simple as possible and for some reason is you still don't get it i will do my extra ever okay to speak spanish Thing. and i will continue practicing of course okay. okay so i want you guys first of all to let us know which um job did you pick for example let's say for example Mar noemi said i pick a teacher for example mirnita said receptionist dalila said uh chef for example okay. louis says doctor byron said supervisor right fabio <laughs> said developer elsie said um Marketing assistant, for example. Mr. Molina said, um, doctor. Kathy said, uh, nurse. Rigoberto said, uh, student, for example. And Anita said, um, let me check, economist, for example. And Mr. Amilcar said, um, a CEO, <laughs> right? Let's pretend that. So this is what we're going to do. And this is what is really interesting in this game because for example, let's say that a milker, no, who said, uh, no, Louis said a lawyer, right? What doctor? A lawyer, a lawyer. A doctor in the a, example. A, a doctor in the example. Okay, so you can, you're going to start like this. I'm a doctor and my salary is terrible. <laughs> and no, sorry, sorry, you can say, no, 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 not a doctor, no. Uh, no, I'm a doctor. And my salary uh, is higher than a teacher. And then you need to be really, really focused on the job that your classmate mentions because immediately you listen to the teacher and 
let's say that Maria, is, uh, no, no, Noemi, Noemi pick the teacher job. She said, wait a minute. Well, maybe I don't have a good salary as you, but I have more hours. You see? So you're going yeah. to defend yourself, right? But you got to be okay. paying attention what is exactly that other uh, person's talking. For example, you can say, I'm a teacher and maybe my salary is terrible, but I have a, a I consider that I have a better hours than a lawyer. And then, poops. And then Dalila said, <laughs> Yeah, baby, I I'm a lawyer, yes. And of course, sometimes my schedule is really tight, but, and then you see, and then you continue yeah. doing these things like that, right? So everybody will participate, okay? And I, and doesn't okay. matter, guys, if you have, if some of you have picked the same profession, it, that would be good. Uh, you can like uh, double it or triple it. That's okay, no problem for me. But what I want to hear, guys, is that, um, you're going to talk about your um, job, but also I uh, want you guys to let us know why you think it's worse. And if you can talk about your hours, your location, if it's difficult, if it's boring, that's okay. Oh, uh, what I want you guys is to try to use what we saw yesterday. Remember the comparisons? What we saw yesterday. Yeah. I want you guys to use the comparison. I don't care if you use an adjective, a noun, a verb. Don't worry about that. As long as you use it, for me, it's fine. Okay? Got it? Okay. Will I play the game? Yeah? <laughs> okay. First of all, I'm going to uh, uh, write into the chat right now because I want to listen to, uh, which ones you pick. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Maria, do me a favor. No, Noemi. Noemi, which one did you pick? Which job did you pick? Oh, you haven't done your homework, right? <laughs> no, I chose an accountant. An accountant. But, but, but to talk about negative, okay? Okay. You, why you don't like the accountant, okay? Why you don't like it, okay? So, okay. So we have an accountant. Accountant. Okay. There you go. The first one is an accountant. What is the second one, Maria? Which one did you pick? Um, I I choose a butcher. Butcher. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. A Dahlia. Which one did you choose? Plumber. Which one? Plumber. Plumber. Okay, plumber. All right. I'm just gonna put the numbers right, but you don't know. Ooh, so you need to be careful, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about you, Luis? Which one did you pick? Uh, pilot. Pilot? Yeah. Oh, my God. I know who's going to kill you, Mr. Byron. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what about you, Byron? Which one did you pick? Well, <laughs> I know you weren't in class, but you can use your imagination. Now, uh, astronomer. Oh. But no, think about the one that you don't want, that you don't like oh, to be. That you don't want. Yes, oh, that you need, that you author. can talk about right. negative things. An author. An author? Yeah. Why? Hey, come on. I will tell you later why. Okay, 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 okay. All right, that's good. That's a good one. All right. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. It's part of the having fun together. What about you, Fabio? I said because I don't like to be a surgeon. Surgeon. Surgeon, you don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, cool. So hopefully you can talk about hours, schedules, salary, and all the stats, right? All righty. What about you, Elsie? Um, nurse. Nurse. So yeah. this is something that you don't like to be. No, Oosh. I don't like it. <laughs> okay. What yeah. about you, Mr. Molina? Mr. Henry Molina. Hopefully this is not working. Physia physiatric. Physiatric or psychiatrist? Psychiatrist, okay. uh, yes. Psychiatrist. How you write a psychiatrist? Uh, psychiatric. How you write that? Do you remember? P-H-S. P-S. P-H. Uh-huh. P-H. Y. Q. P 
PHQ. No. <laughs> PSH. PHY. PHY. PHP. Yes, PSY. PHY, that's psychiatrist. PSY, CH, I, E, T, R, I, I think that is like some German word. <laughs> because it's my physical girl, right? Are you sure it's like that? You said P H Y S I S S H I E R I S T. Are you sure that's the way you write psychiatrist? Psychiatrist. I think that it's basically a, a, a German word, but that's not English. <laughs> but that's uh huh. So how you write psychiatrist? Ah, you see, you wouldn't expect for me to ask you that, right? Yeah. H. Okay, I'm gonna. I, 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 you can Google it. Oh. Ash. Yes. You can -S -S Google it. P S Y C H I E A T R R I. I esteem. Mm. All right. I think it's kind of. All right. Sometimes, guys, this is going to be a, a tip, right? And uh, Mr. Byron will, will double check that and guarantee that it works. Yeah. Wow. Um, sometimes it depends on our accents or everything right now. Um, it will be really hard for the other people to understand if we are spelling a word. So my best recommendation would be all the time to use the military alphabet, which is really works really fine. So when you said P as in Papa, right? S yep. as in Sierra. Y is in Yankee, right? Mm -hmm. And then you said C mm -hmm. as in what? Charlie. As in what? Charlie. Charlie, very good. H as in hotel. hotel. Um, I as in in indigo, right? A as in alpha. T as in tango. R like in Romeo. I as in indigo. No ice cream. <laughs> S as in Sierra. And T as in tango. That is psychiatrist. Yeah. Okay. Psychiatrist. Okay. Very good. Okay. So good. Good job. Good job, uh, um, Henry. And let me check. What about uh, Elsie? What about you? Did you pick something? Yes, teacher. Which I one? Which one? Nurse. Ah, nurse. Oh, nurse. oh yes, you're done. Okay, good. And Anita, Rigoberto, what about you? Carpenter. Carpenter, oh my God, but not the ones like, uh, oh yeah, wait a minute, Mr. Postman, no? Remember that song? <laughs> yeah, that's The Carpenters. The Carpenters, yes. The brother, the siblings. Mr. Milker, what about you? Which one did you pick? Police. Police. Police officer? Police officer. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So are you ready? Yeah? Okay. No. Do, no. <laughs> gotta be ready. A, if somebody mentioned your occupation and you were like thinking about the sunshine, right? Or yeah, think about what you're gonna do tomorrow. If you do not be quickly participated, you lose and you're out of the game. Okay? And we are going to count which one lasts? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So, are Teacher, you guys ready? Yes. Yes, Rigoberto. I have a question. Yes, but you have the you question. Yeah. That, uh -huh. a question that you said that word. Which is the difference between uh, loss and miss? In which situation do you have to use it? To use what? Lost and miss. The difference. Like lost that you are lost in 
things. Basically, like physical things. And if you lose something. La, las dos palabras significan perder, por lo que yo entiendo, pero no entiendo miss, en qué situación. Mm, I, will, I will let you know. For example, when you said I lost, it says you lost something physical. For example, you can lost your pet. You can lost your job. You can lose a, um, a friend if he pass away, right? Okay. Or a mother or whatever. But if you missed, it's more emotional. Okay. Most emotional area. Like if, for example, uh, you can say, um, I miss my classmates i miss my girl i miss my boy for example yes. <gasps> mm -hmm. like extrañar exactly mm -hmm. and when you said you miss one letter or you miss ah it, it, that is an, a different a different context that that means it's... that you, you couldn't catch up that for example you can also use the word missed for example, you're supposed to have a doctor's appointment and for some reason you couldn't make it. I, you said, I missed my doctor appointment. Like, oops, I couldn't be on time. So there are some words, guys, that we use it in a different context. But if what the question of Rico Berto was, what is the difference between loss and miss in the same context? Okay, so if we're talking about losing something, okay, loss is for physical things, th things that we can, or persons that we, something that we can touch, right? Something or someone. And missed is just regarding how you feel emotionally. Yeah. You got it? Okay. Fabio? Yes, teacher. Yeah, Rico, it. yeah? Got Fabio, you said like, mm-mm. Yeah, I understand the physical, but for this emotional thing, like, like I, uh, I miss the idea or, or, or uh -huh. like I miss you. No, like I miss you. <clears throat> I miss you. Uh-huh. Like, for example. You missed me late yesterday. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, exactly. Yes, I was missing course. yesterday. Well, no. <laughs> I was missing. No, no. No, you cannot say that I was missing yesterday. I missed the class yesterday. Exactly. Yeah. In that way, it's not, it's, it's not going to mean that you lost something. It means that you didn't catch up. You see? Yeah. Okay. So that's why in English, guys, sometimes the words could mean a different things depending on the circumstances that you are using. It. One example is the verb like. Like, you can use it in many ways as possible but it will mean something different different for example you said i don't like apples that means that is not a good uh, your favorite fruit right but also you can say um he doesn't look like that means that is for example it is not the same person for example yeah I don't look like my mom. That means my mom and I physically were totally opposite. So you see how it changed so barriers depends on the context. Okay. All righty. So you ready? Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So who started? Thank you so much, Byron. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> it's the soup. So you better like. Mm. Okay, guys. I want you to turn on your microphones. All of you, right now. Because if you're like, where is the mute? Where is the unmute button? If you if you took time, if you took forever to unmute yourself, you're gonna lose as well. Okay. Okay, Barry, go ahead. Use I comparisons. Don't really like to, I don't really like to be a, an author because I'm not the kind of person that is gonna be writing a lot of sentences, but I can have some great ideas, but it's not part of me. It's not part uh, of you. Yeah. It's something that I don't, I don't know. It's like, uh, uh, oh, I forgot this word. But it's, I have a lot of ideas and, and everything, uh, but it's not the one that it's going to be editing, typing in and everything to 
have a good book or something. I don't. Uh, okay, so do me a favor. Try to uh, compare the author oh. to so, so another job. You can but use it's any type. In a bad way or in a in good a way? bad way. <clears throat> you oh. have to say something negative about author, and you can compare with something else. I when if you are an author, you will be thinking in what to tie to write and if you are like a um, carpenter you are gonna be just i don't know working some hours from 8 to 5 p.m or something but if you are an author you will have an idea maybe at midnight and you are gonna be typing and they're on your computer and everything or you are in a meeting with someone you are talking with someone and then oh I got an idea I have to leave and you didn't I don't know that's it <laughs> so you said that working as a as a an outer is, uh -huh, is uh, isn't as inter is interesting is more is is more interesting <laughs> than being a carpenter right yeah okay who's carpenter i'm carpenter okay so okay rigoberto defend yourself are you agree working, with that hmm. um <laughs> working as a carpenter could be a very hard working but it um it works less worse than a police officer because they have to be in the street all tonight 24 hours very and good <laughs> okay who's a police officer <clears throat> I know who's a police officer. Yeah, of course, you know. <laughs> he lost. <laughs> I'm, I'm the police officer. Aha, uh -huh, okay, aha. Uh -huh, you're almost, this, almost. This bad, but I, I understood that that the job we can share with the with the classmate that the job we don't like, right? Yes, that's what we're talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, I don't want to to be uh a police officer, for example, because uh, in, in this day the the situation is very dangerous in the street or with the other people, the criminal people, um, and you don't know in in every in every moment do you lose your family or your friends or your your job, for example, mm -hmm. because we, we are living in the situation very dangerous. Because I won't, I won't like to be a police officer. Okay, so do me a favor. So you're talking about the, a police officer, officer. You don't like it due to the dangerous, right, of uh, the kind yeah. of job that. So you can say that use a comparison. You can say that police, uh, being a police officer is as dangerous as being what? Uh, I prefer being a pilot. A pilot, okay. Yeah. So, who's pilot? I am the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, I understand the... The, the game? The game. Okay. Uh, the, career of, the career of the pilot is more expensive, but... Uh, than Than... A nurse. A nurse? Oh, who's a nurse? Who's a nurse here? <clears throat> Who's a nurse? I know who's a nurse. Ah, ah, hurry up. <laughs> well, um, being a nurse is really hard because we have to um, to work uh, sometimes twenty four hours. And the the salary is 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 is, is low, and um, also uh, we don't have good benefits uh, for our children. Uh, but I think it's better than. Um, you can choose than a surgeon, maybe. Yeah. Can ah. I <laughs> All right, no, no, I was just suggesting. No, no, no. All right, so who's the surgeon right now? <laughs> hey, okay, okay.
que es sabio. I don't know who this. Well, it's important both jobs. I don't like to be a surgeon because I, in particular, do, I can do seeing blood. Ah, but you like okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they work a lot. They have a very, very lot of responsibilities. But at least they are better paid than a plumber. Than a plumber. Yeah, very good. Oh, Who's yes. a plumber? <laughs> yes, I know. I know. The surgeon is, is uh, the, um, the best on the plumber, but the plumber, the hour is only for the plumber. Yeah, because I have um, a good job because I have my hours for, for the, I want to want, I want to work. Then maybe they earn less, more than um, an accountant. But an accountant, oh, who's an accountant? Yeah, very, very good. <laughs> I love to my work, but being an accountant is more stressful than a doctor. Um, uh, psych no, I don't know, psychiatrist. 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 Yeah, <laughs> who's a psychiatrist? <laughs> Mr. Molina. Okay. Uh, um, and first time, uh, psychiatrists uh, need to more responsibility for the for the for this job. Uh -huh. But in first time, uh, but uh, I I need to overcome my my our problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's interesting this uh, this job. So you because, say uh -huh. uh, because he is a. Uh, Forward the uh, is is forward uh, the 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 help more more person to to overcome your your problem and 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 make people's uh, 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 feeling good feeling good okay. so okay so you consider that psychiatrist is um as no is is more interesting you said right than a butcher maybe okay yeah okay 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 thank you Mr. Uh, being, a, being a butcher is dangerous is a uh, is more dangerous as uh as okay um as being a, a carpenter because, uh, okay. <laughs> Rico Virtue said, not me again. Yes. <laughs> because because the, the risk to cut uh, yourself. In, uh -huh. in the, Very good. For cutting the... the <laughs> <laughs> the, the meat or the bones <laughs> very good guys excellent do you like the practice yeah yeah, yeah it's really fun right <laughs> guys i i congratulate you because you are using most of the time it's easier to use comparison with nouns and with adjectives right like more interesting sometimes it's a little bit harder to think about a verb that we can use right and a past participle because that's the other way that you can compare but you know why you did a good job congratulations i was really <laughs> laughing about your facial expressions for example <laughs> i remember that when somebody said butcher maria is like mm, like that <laughs> oh, i remember that dalila said yeah but you know what being a plumber like that and she was like oh my god yeah you see about it? <laughs> and, and mr morning is like oh yeah Oh, yeah, it's like that. <laughs> like, oh my god, yeah. So it was really amazing and fun. Okay, yeah. yeah. Maybe we can continue doing another activity like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what? You see, we have practice comparisons, right? Comparison, we got reviewed and we we um, achieve our goal, which was a listening part and um, the speaking part. 
We will continue with other topics tomorrow. And uh, what I want you guys to start thinking about, and that will help you like to give you like some idea what will be the topic for tomorrow and a little bridge about that. And basically guys, uh, think about when someone have asked you for a favor or when a friend mm -hmm. had asked you for a favor, was it always easy to say yes? No, <laughs> no right? Not really, right? Mm -hmm. So tomorrow, guys, we're going to talk about a favor because all of the most of the time, all of us have passed. We have asked somebody else to do us a favor, but also somebody else have asked us to do a favor, right? So we're going to talk about that. And also, guys, we're going to talk about ways that we can ask and we can answer about favors. What exactly, what kind of um, grammar are we used to talk about that, okay? It will be easy. Don't worry about that. You know the grammar is always easy with me, okay? Mm -hmm. so Mr. Morgan's like, no comments. <laughs> <laughs> all righty guys mm. uh -huh. is there any questions any doubts that you might have so far no me uh yes byron no what until which day we had to finish the section three two i think three the, or four that, that three or four you're supposed to you three the midterm you're supposed to finish already yeah. oh, okay mm -hmm. but let me ask you something yeah. now that you touch that byron um you can like you don't expect to to receive the top of own class because you can continue or you can progress by your yeah. own okay but let me ask let me let you know something if for some reason you stuck in this in a in an exercise or you don't know or you said teacher i have done like a thousand of time for me it's fine but they said no right so i cannot pass it if you have any difficulties or any doubts on any um exercise feel free to ask because uh, maybe you. Yes. Maybe, uh, of mm -hmm. course, I'm not going to give you the answers, right? Mm. <laughs> no, but, but, what, yeah. but what I mean yes, I is it that sure. it can help you finish that area. But let's pretend that there are some of your classmates that they haven't passed through that section or they haven't done that exercise. So when they, when they are in that section, it, it will be helpful for them because they will already know how to answer or to understand what is exactly the exercise is asking for you to do. So mm -hmm. it will help everybody. For example, let's pretend that you haven't finished by your own section five, section three, but Fabio is already in section four. And you said, wow, this is a Speedy Gonzalez daughter song or what? So doesn't matter, Fabio, if you're in the in another section or you're already on the final test and you don't and you have questions on that. You can ask questions. We can answer. We can take like 10 minutes of the class or five minutes, depends on the question that you have. And we can like resolve together, right? Or, yeah. But also we can answer any questions because it will help everybody when you do the exercise, okay? So please okay. feel free to ask. Or if you already have the doubts in advance, you can also put that doubts on the chat, on the WhatsApp, and I will take into consideration so I know ah, most of the guys have doubts on this part of this section. So also we already know which one do you need help for. And we can also uh, double check it in class, okay? Don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here. Okay. I'm here to help you and to guide you, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. All Thank right, you. guys, my pleasure. So hugs and kisses. Thank you for being today. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. See you tomorrow. Good evening. Bye. Good night.